As historical author Anthony Brandt has said, other things may change us, but we start and end with family. I've been picking the Commonwealth for 20 years, searching high and low at yard, estate sales, antique malls, thrift stores, junk shops, garages, and sometimes even barns for treasures I can pass on to new homes through eBay. But now as I watch my little ones growing up before my eyes, I find that my real treasures are right here with me every day. So join us as we pick, flip, and resell on our two eBay stores and in our two antique booths. All right, y'all, I got problems. I can't go home. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. We're out on a Saturday morning. It is 614, and we're out on the hunt for some things to resell on eBay, and we are also out on the hunt for things to put in our uh, one of our two antique booths. I uh, need a few things like uh, some bookcases, some shelving, some furniture, and whatever else we can find to, to resell and make a little bit of money on. Um, there's only 11 yard sales, just 11 that are even remotely possible for me out here today. It's overcast. It's uh, been a little rainy. So hopefully we're going to find a few good ones. There's always a few unadvertised ones that we come across out there, but today that might be pretty sparse. So we'll see. All right, y'all. So I have rarely had something like that happen. Not many yard sales out today. I have been at this yard sale for one hour. Um, I spent $150 and I might be going home so I don't know I'll check a couple of these other yard sales I, I missed the three or four ones that I was planning on going to and this one was well worth it just to give you a little sample so I found uh, Apple TV brand new in the package a Fitbit brand new in the package um, have some old cast iron stuff. I didn't even bother to look at it. It is old. It's not re repop stuff um, Pretty happy with most of what I got today tons of stuff for the antique mall um, I think with with three items I'll make the 150 back and I have just a truck full of stuff So I'm thinking that one yard sale is gonna be a six or seven hundred dollar profit once everything is sold So really happy moving on all right, that was a pretty cool vintage yard sale. Uh, saw um, some uh, folks that uh, are going to be in the antique booth that we were in. I can't remember the name of them, but uh, hopefully you check out this video down the road and uh, would love to talk to you. Uh, you guys picked out some great stuff. Um, got some uh, nice stuff, littles, a bunch of smalls. I got a nice backpack to sell on eBay. Probably should be about an $80 backpack. Maybe a little less because it's got a condition issue on one thing, but I um, paid $10 for it, so it should be a pretty good little buy. Um, got a ton of like wood, you know, vintage looking wood blocks and, and some different stuff that uh, should do really well in a booth. Some, some not old, but really, really cheap and uh, pretty happy with that. And I know that uh, Blue Ridge Mom will be happy with that too. All right, y'all, I don't have a choice but to go home now. My truck is full, as you can see. And I got the shelves that I needed. I got some neat old chairs. Uh, maybe double my money on. I got this uh, metal cabinet. I'm gonna put in my eBay room, clean it up. Good deal. Nice uh, glass uh, water bottle um, for five bucks. So real happy, I'm headed home. Maybe make a stop or two on the way. I got these things bungeed up, so I don't wanna add any more to it. In a little bit. All right, y'all, I got problems. I can't go home. But my favorite buy of the day, not my best buy, but my favorite buy of the day is, in this day where I'm sweating to death, a protege sweater from the 1980s. This is Bill Cosby style, y'all. This is at least 40 bucks. At least. Maybe more. We'll look at the design. So happy. I think 40 bucks now. I'll probably wait a little while. Got a bunch of stuff. Got another new wave oven sitting right here. Um, and a few other little things thrown in a sweet igloo cooler rubbermaid cooler I think um, should go for a good amount of money a little sidekick so real happy show it to you when you get home 
Alright y'all, we're home and I must have a problem or something because I filled this sucker up. I mean, we filled it up. <sighs> All kinds of stuff. I mean, that tub is just full of stuff. So We will have to dig it all out of there and show you what we got. We spent a total of $211. So we'll dig it all out of here and divvy it up, eBay and the booze, and show you what we got. Just decided to do a little bit more while we were out today. Couldn't stop with one car full. We had to start on the second one. So most of this was just uh, antique booth stuff, except for the old filter queen. Alrighty. All right, we are finally downstairs. It's the night, uh, Saturday night, so we're looking at some uh, some items that we are uh, that we pulled out uh, the art sales today. Um, interesting day, but I'm going to show you. We spent a total of two hundred and eleven dollars. Um, actually, a little bit more. We went to one more yard sale with uh, Commonwealth Grammy, and uh, a bunch of stuff sold today. Or excuse me, we bought a bunch of stuff today that uh, was for the was for the um, uh, booth so I want to show you um, what we got for the booze and then what we got for eBay and uh, let's take a look at both all right so first we've got uh, all of this stuff in here was uh, booth purchases so my wife's got tags on these and I haven't priced everything out yet but she put tags on um, these things I don't even know what you call them but my wife was looking for them forever and finally bought one retail. And then, of course, I find these and I paid five bucks a piece. I'm not going to talk too much about how much I paid for stuff. Just remember, it's $211 plus I think we paid $20 more at the final yard sale we went to um, with Commonwealth Grammy. So this little guy is pretty interesting. A little case, a little hard to see. Light's not terribly good. I'm going to clean it up a little bit and we're going to repaint it. And I'm going to put uh, little cards in here. And I'm probably going to use it in the eBay cave for a lot of flats and a lot of smalls and label uh, label them. I think is probably what I'm going to do with this. But I like it a lot. I could we could sell it in the in the booth, I suppose. Um, this uh, glass um, bottle should sell pretty well. Paid five bucks for it. Uh, the basket, I think we paid three. And these pictures were in a giant lot. We lotted up, you know, when I say we paid three, that was the initial asking price, but we lotted up a ton of stuff at that first yard sale, 140 bucks. Um, and that was one of them. And these three pictures as well should sell okay in the booth. They're not vintage, but they're made to look vintage. Um, they'll sell, you know, I don't know, four, four bucks a piece or something like that. This is an interesting one that we'll use for some other purpose. Um, and it's uh, collect matches question mark display them on a match frame and so this frame is made to display matches but we're gonna probably display something completely different uh, these jars I bought at the last yard sale and they wanted five bucks for the box and I'm like no, I'm no, way, no way we're doing that we got Kerr and some ball and some some big ones I'm gonna use them for a couple different purposes and my wife's gonna be creative with them too um, ended up getting them for a quarter a piece, and I figured for that price I'll get them um, and use them for something. These chairs were a great buy, um, five bucks a piece for these chairs. They actually would sell on eBay, but we are going to sell them in the booth. Not quite sure how much we're going to ask for them just yet, um, but definitely a, a good money maker. A glass turkey candy jar. Um, you know, all this stuff is just pennies on a dollar. A little Bob Ross bobblehead. Who knows? Put that in the booth. Maybe put it on eBay. Make four or five bucks on it. Uh, don't regret growing old. It's a privilege denied to many. Which is very true. This little could use it as a, I guess, a shelf. Or a little uh, place to put smalls and sell them. Uh, that was a dollar at the last yard sale. Come off Grammy. Pick that one up, I think. And a couple of Pyrex. These, you gotta understand, in this lot, these ended up being about 50 cents a piece. This one's worn down, but should still bring a few bucks. And this should bring, you know, 
five bucks maybe. Um, this is probably ended up being a quarter in the end. It'll bring four or five bucks. Um, these I paid up a little bit, two bucks a piece for these blocks. Uh, they're Melissa and Doug made to look vintage, but I, I mean we'll probably get six or seven dollars a piece on them maybe. Um, I think they're kind of neat looking. Oh, a little matchbox holder, a little snowman, cookie jar for the winter time, a couple of sleds, nothing special there. This is a skirt measuring device, a little vintage item. Um, I don't know, a few bucks. Got one of these for record display, put records in um, at one of the booths. More DVDs, they got a huge amount of DVDs, huge amount of, pretty good titles too. Um, here's the Ghost Whisper, um, and we got Jim Carrey stuff, and I saw, here's Sweeney Todd, I saw some, uh, what did I see in here, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas stuff, and that's what sold me on the lot. And my guess is, once I sell that stuff off in some of the TV series, we'll make, uh, we'll make, uh, just in those two or three sales, we'll make enough to pay for all the DVDs and even some Blu-rays in here, so... There we go. Carol and I, Nightmare for Christmas, directed by Corpse's Bride, Johnny Depp. The Nightmare for Christmas, Tim Burton. So, pretty good stuff. Rick and Morty is a Blu ray, is another Blu ray. Incredibles. So, we'll put this stuff. Had tons of music, tons of CDs. Um, some pretty decent titles in here. So, should be able to sell most of that. Jackass down there. See that too couple of those so those should sell got another one of these vintage coolers actually this one's not too terribly vintage i don't think i have to look it up but it's in nice shape all right let's see what else we got here this ladder my wife asked me to find a ladder i found a ladder display some things in sell it as well three bucks as part of that big lot ended up being cheaper than three bucks this they're asking five for the shutter Ended up being cheaper than that with the big lot. It's one of my favorite buys here. Some vintage cast iron. First I thought it was, you know, reproduction stuff. But this is the real deal, y'all. And I have no idea what it's worth. So, paid $10 initially. And remember, this whole thing's bundled, so it reduces everything. But the initial ask was 10 bucks. Not just for this guy right here. There's the barrels in here. But also for these two over here. So... $3.33 a piece is what I paid for that one and those two. So that should be a nice amount of money. Hey, these, maybe you all can tell me what, what I got here in this bundle. These look like the real deal too. I don't know, Hummel looking things? I'll have to tear that off and see what we got. There's three of those. Nice little, uh, oh, look at that, rideshare reseller. Looks like uh, your neck of the woods. Maybe you recognize that artist since you're good with uh, good with that kind of stuff. What do you say? You uh, put it in comments below and let me know who the heck this is. All right, looks like it's a signed uh, San Francisco Golden Gate back there. Didn't even notice that when I picked it up. So let me know what you think of that. Or maybe you like it. Maybe you'd want it. I don't know. All right. Uh, these aren't vintage, but they're cool. I'll put those in the booth. They'll sell right after July 4th. Maybe I'll have to wait a year to get those sold. Some vintage. These, are, believe it or not, are Kurt Adler. Made in Japan. Oh, this one doesn't have a tag on it, but they're Kurt Adler made in Japan. Um, there it is. Kurt. Kurt S. Adler. Made in Japan. Um, the vintage ornaments. Vintage ornaments, which I don't know much about, but I know enough that uh, when you pay, you know, a couple of bucks for a whole box full, you're doing all right. Paid two dollars at a different yard sale for these two items and these three items, total of two bucks. These are probably end up in eBay, even though I put them over here in the booth for right now. My wife didn't like this item, but I only paid fifty cents for it. She didn't like it. I thought it would do all right. She told me it wouldn't, but. 50 cents, you can't go wrong. Put it in there for a few bucks, you make some money, I guess. Bought a rope. This was in a bundle, probably cost about 50 cents. Uh, nice old vintage looking rope. We're gonna hang some things from the ceiling in one of those booths. And I bought this shelving, which is actually pretty well made. Pretty sturdy. 
it paid up a little bit for me anyways 10 bucks for that shelf she's gonna paint it and we're gonna use it in the booth and maybe sell it as well pretty happy with that there may be a few more things hanging around here y'all but I'm not gonna go into detail on all of them um, old vintage rummy cub game this was a th or excuse me scrabble game which I'm gonna use I have a bunch I have thousands of those in there in rummy cub and I'm gonna use that for for something special um, that I'm gonna try to sell in the booth I'll let you see it later maybe and let's get over here to the eBay stuff um, actually, before we get to the eBay stuff, this Cobalt Toolbox, and it's really long, I don't even know how long it is, it might even say 30 inch Carpenter's Toolbox, and I asked the guy, I said, how much for the for the toolbox, and I said, I want a price for, for it empty, and a, a price for it full, and he said, uh, $10 for it empty, and $25 for it full, and, because I can tell there is something in it, so what would you have done? 25 for it empty, or excuse me, 25 for it full. I haven't even looked at the bottom yet. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We got a bunch of tools in there. I think I made the right decision on that. 10 or 25, so. Um, great buys, so here we go. I remember I spent 211 and then a little extra at the last one. This guy right here goes for just under 100 bucks. Just under a hundred dollars. Sorry for the glare there, y'all. So that item right there. It's an old Fitbit Alta that's at least 50 bucks. So that one. And then I haven't looked this one up, you know, I've sold some Apple TV stuff before. This is brand new in the box, it has never been opened. Neither has the Fitbit. So all three of these brand new items. I think those three items should cover our two 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 eleven right there. Um, I got a bunch of stuff that we're gonna use um, to fix stuff up. I got uh, some masks for mowing the grass, giant amounts of them, probably thirty, forty dollars worth of them. Um, I got Roundup. I mean, I got all kinds of crazy stuff at this yard sale that that, that I'm not even showing you. It's all in the backyard. I got paint brushes and paint rollers, um, pennies on the dollar. So um, this is a low Alpine. That I got. So with these three items back here in the low alpine, we're probably already into the $50 profit range. Before we even start on all that stuff, all that stuff's gonna be pure profit. And um, we're already in the profit over here. This I'm gonna use for myself. I might even take this to the to the uh pawn shop and see if I can how much I can get pawning it off. I'm not quite sure yet. This is a rubber made sidekick. Haven't looked it up yet, but I know these go pretty well. Need some cleaning, but it's a vintage rubber made 80s looking sidekick. And I want to say these go for like 30 or 40 bucks plus shipping. I know that's hard to believe. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, tell me in the comments. These shoes. I went back for these shoes actually because I forgot them the first go around. Didn't get them lotted up in that $140 lot, but uh, three bucks and they should go for about 35 plus shipping. Uh, this was a throw in and I go, oh, yeah, just take it. I'm like, okay, I'll take it. Uh, this is for my oldest boy. He likes these little mixer cups, cyclone. I'm gonna give him that. That's brand new. <laughs> I told you the other day in a video, I don't know why I bought one, but again it was a throw in, so there you go. Uh little candy pack I gotta look up. This is an interesting looking one because it's got like a bottle carrier in the front. It's a definitely a vintage look. Uh, that might be worth 20 bucks. We'll see. Vintage strawberry shortcake a sleeping bag. Looks like it's in really good condition and she's held on to it for a long time. So uh, zippers work and everything she told me. So I don't know, that might be 25 bucks plus shipping. Who knows, might put it in the booth too. Um, two Liberty t shirts. Uh, another New Wave oven, immaculate brand new. That's a good $70 profit right there. And, last but not least, one of my favorite buys of the day. There's a few more things hanging around, but one of my favorite buys of the day. It's the Protégé Collection. This is at the right time to the right person. That sweater is worth 50 bucks. Maybe more. So, we'll see. Good day. All in all, when everything gets sold and or used, um, just right here, 
I would estimate 450 in profit. Yeah, it's a little high. Just right here, I'd probably estimate close to 400 in profit. Um, and then when all this stuff gets sold, we're looking at an easy $1,200 day. That's not even counting the massive amount of stuff I put in my shed that I bought today for personal use. So, at any rate, thanks for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe and leave some comments. Let me know what you think I should price some of this stuff at. Let me know about those ornaments especially. What should I price those ornaments for? All right, y'all have a good day.